All right, we're getting ready to pack it up and head out to Hocking Hills, our annual spring break trip with the kids. And this is just a beautiful area of Ohio. It's just east of Columbus. It's a state park with caves, hiking, waterfalls. And back in the summer of 2018, they finished the John Glenn Astronomy Park, which is what I'm excited about. So I thought I would take you guys along with us on the trip, show you the astronomy park. As you can see, it's raining right now, so it looks like Wednesday it might clear up for us. Fingers crossed, and I'll be able to do some imaging that night, but regardless if I can or I can't, I'll show you guys the astronomy park. It's more than just a place to sit up and shoot. They got a whole plaza and an observatory. It's, it's a really cool place. We're gonna finish packing up and head on out. My name is Rich, and you're watching Deep Space Astro. Okay, well, we made it to the cabin. There she is in the back. I'll give you guys a quick tour, and then we'll move out to the astronomy park, and I'll show you guys what that's all about. Okay, we've made it. John Glenn Astronomy Park. The first thing I want to point out to you guys is this wall right here. They've designed this to block the headlights from the parking lot as you pull in. And as we go around to the left of the wall, you're greeted with a welcome sign here that explains everything that the park has to offer. This is a really cool place. We'll go over everything here. And this is the observatory. I don't have access to it today, but every Friday and Saturday they have free public events. You can come out, but this entire roof slides back off of the observatory. They have a 20 inch Dobsonian as well as a Celestron 14 inch in there. And on the weekends when they have their events, they bring out other scopes into the plaza for the public to use for free. And they have a, the director will come out and he does a speaking event. On the other side of our wall here are all the donors in the constellation of Leo. And then behind me is the actual plaza. And the first thing I want to show you, because I got a kick out of this sign, is about not climbing on the walls. Gravity at the surface of Earth creates an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared, which means that if you fall, you get going really fast, really quickly. <laughs> So the first thing we'll check out is the Jupiter bench. There's my daughter, Caitlin. So the sphere on top of here, wow, I can hear myself echoing. <laughs> the sphere on top of here is to scale, to scale of the Earth. What I'm standing on is called Jupiter's bench. This is to scale of Jupiter compared to the Earth. And then the entire plaza represents the scale of the sun. There's a hole in the bottom of the sphere here that if you look through it to the top of the flagpole, is showing you where the North Celestial Pole is. So if we walk around the plaza over this way, and it, it goes all the way around, but this first white brick represents the Arctic Circle. And then the outer ring is the Tropic of Cancer. And then over to the east side of the sphere that we were just on, this red brick represents the scale distance from the Earth to the Moon. And then one of the really cool things are these three monoliths, I guess you would call them. Each of them have, there's three of them on the east side and three of them on the west side. Spin around over here. Watch out, Caitlin. <laughs> and the gaps in the wall are for the winter, summer solstice, as well as equinox. The sun will actually trace through those openings on the first day of each season. And then also, if I can get you guys up to see, you can see the bricks along the wall on the outer edge. These are 15 degree increments all the way around, representing 24 hours. You can actually determine your azimuth 
just by the bricks and how they have them laid in the entire plaza. So the John Glenn Astronomy Park, every Friday and Saturday starting in the spring, and I'll leave a link on their website in the description below, have free public events where they'll open up the observatory and let you use the scopes they have inside. They also have a few, I believe, that they'll bring out into the plaza for people to use. You can bring your own equipment. This is just a gorgeous place. We're in a border four right now, so it's pretty dark skies, very limited light pollution. We'll go over and walk around the observatory a little bit, but like I said, I don't have access to it today. So like I was saying before, this entire roof slides back. We'll walk around to the other side. I tried to get access and the director had agreed to meet me down here, but he wouldn't be available until Friday evening. And unfortunately we are leaving Friday morning. So talk about poor planning, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, it works just like your typical observatory, except this one is freaking huge. I would love to see that big 20 inch dot they have inside of here. Oh, there's a window. Maybe we can look inside the window. Nope, blinds are closed. So that's a quick tour. Everything that I know about this plaza, I love this place. It's not just a place to set up your telescopes and come out and image during the night, but it's a learning experience for the whole family. Um, fingers crossed, it looks like this Thursday night, it might be clear sky, so I'm gonna come back and try and do some imaging myself. Um, if not, at least I still got to show you guys the plaza, so we'll see how it goes.